Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Unity's dry run of FTL. I'm Devin. And I'm Dan. This is this is actually the beta for FTL. It's not oh. out yet. Oh, okay. It launches September 14th, but uh, I have early access because I kickstarted this. Kickstart um, that shit. Yeah, and basically what this game is, is it's a kind of an... There's RTS elements in it, because you command your crew around your spaceship, but it's um, it's basically a roguelike. So you move from, like, planet to planet. Well, like, faster than light. FTL drive beacon to FTL drive beacon, and you hit planets, and there's randomly generated stuff. It's great, so I'm just going to start a game. All right. Um, this, is, this is the default spaceship. It's called the Kestrel. Okay. Um, we can rename it, though. Really? Call it Unity. Okay. Um, enter? Yes. Um, you can, uh, all this stuff you unlock in the game, so I'm going to keep comparing this to Binding of Isaac because that's something that's familiar to you. Yeah, fair enough. Um, as you progress through, you're going to unlock more ships depending on, like, what kind of things you encounter in the world. So there's different alien races. There's the Rock. There's the Mantis. There's the, right. um... Uh, there's the Rebels. You're part of the Federation. Oh, okay. Um... Not bad. Yeah, there's a lot of... So there's a lot there's of There's also items. the NGs. They're like... NGs? They're terrible at fighting, but they're really good at repairing ship oh, systems. okay, yeah, yeah. So as you can see from this ship, um, you can also hide the rooms if you want. Oh, nice. Uh, you have your cockpit. You've got your door operating room. You've got your My sensors. Hey, okay, let me get this straight. There's a specific room that's just for doors? Well, yeah, because people can, like, board your ship. Oh, okay. So right. I, I, thought, I thought it meant, like, if you wanted to open you have any to keep... door in the ship, you got to be in that room. Oh, well, no, but if the room's dead, then you can't open doors. Oh. Uh, like, well, um, manually. Well, people can still up. walk through them, but you can, like, if people board and are in this room, you can, like, open the airlock and, like, space them. That's actually pretty fucking so, badass. Yeah, the, the whole game takes place from this top-down perspective, so we've got the sensors, we've got uh, the med bay, we have our shields, we have our weapons, we have our engines, and we have our uh, oxygen uh, room. room. It's... If Only that gets oxygen. disabled, the oxygen doesn't drain out, but it won't replenish. So if you get uh, like a see. hull breach and this yeah, room yeah. is down, the oxygen is going to slowly drain from the ship. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to jump into it. We can also uh, customize the names of these people. Um, so I'm just going to quickly throw some names in there. Awesome. Yeah, only your initial characters can you customize. Everyone oh, okay. else that, because you will eventually, I think, you get up to eight crew members. They're just kind of generic names after that. Yeah, well, they're whatever their oh, name okay. is. So, okay. Try not to get us killed, Dan. <laughs> I'm trusting you. And so th this ship starts. This is like the most balanced ship. It's the human ship. Okay. So you get a laser and a missile launcher. All right. And uh, we'll just. I'm gonna put it on easy, because normal is. A little hard. Oh, okay. So normal, <laughs> normal is punishing as opposed to easy, which is your normal. Normal is like how Binding of Isaac is when you start off. Oh, oh, where you're like, oh god, like, I don't what know what is I'm even doing. happening. I'm getting killed. I'm dying a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've mostly been playing on easy because you get unlocks for different encounters and stuff. All and, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, beating the game, and I want to get the unlock for beating the game. Right now, at home, I don't have extra ships here because this is. Richo's computer. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I have four different ships at home. I have a rock ship, I have an NG ship, and I have another okay. one, which is another alien race that I can't remember, but uh, we'll what, just... Whatever. We'll just, we obviously did our homework yeah. before playing So this. you get all kinds of explanations and stuff in every sector you go to. So well, we'll the just premise get... of this is the data you're carrying is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. The rebels are in hot pursuit, so head to the exit beacon as soon as possible. So... This is the interface of the game. So you have all your ship systems down here. Okay. So you have subsystems, which is your autopilot. Yeah. Your sensors, sensors. and your doors. All right. So um, sensors sh will let you see the areas of your ship without people standing in them. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put you on shields. And we'll put Riccio on weapons. All right. Um, you've got your shield meter up here. You've got an evade chance, which if you take the pilot out, lowers. You also can't do a jump if, you if don't the pilot's pilot. out. Um, your standard space, you know, craft yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's, it's very... All the achievements in this game are like references to sci-fi stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's great. Um, this is the big, probably the biggest thing. This is your scrap 
that you pick up from destroying ships or salvaging right. stuff. And if you go to ship, you can upgrade all your systems from and your, your like overall reactor and stuff. And so right here is your reactor meter. And so if I want to make the engines charge faster, I can put another point from the reactor into them. All right. And that means, but that means that I won't have enough points to power both these weapons at the same time. So, um, all right, that yeah, makes it's, sense. It's, if you remember the old like Tie Fighter games, yeah, swing games where you were like yeah. rerouting shield power, power to weapons like and stuff and into your speed, that kind of concept. So what I'm actually going to do because you're only in one reactor core detriment here is I always upgrade. The reactor by one so that I can fill up everything. Oh, okay. That's not uh, bad. You'll start with 30 scrap, um, but each of the ships start with different. Uh, this is your fuel, these are your missiles, which power special weapons, like on the basic ship, a missile launcher. <laughs> and these are your drones. You can get drones to like board the enemy ship or have system repair drones or. So a lot of crazy just, stuff. So yeah. It sounds like there's a like obscene amount of just like items. Not on the level of like all the unique stuff in Binding of Isaac, but there is a ton of of stuff that's pretty sick so uh what we'll do and here's the jump screen so right now we're in the civilian sector and we're in sector one there are eight sectors in the game okay um and it's all randomized depending on which sector you can go to next so our goal to leave this sector is to get to the exit beacon over here um but beyond that we just kind of go so uh scanners indicate that a battle is taking place nearby it seems that someone is under attack by space pirates we can aid the civilian ship or stay out of it. So typically you want to aid people, do things so you can get scrap and upgrade your ship and stuff. So, so this game is entirely mouse controlled, I'll point out, except for one key, which is the space bar, which is used to uh, pause so that you can direct your crew and target your weapons at, at your leisure. You can do it in real time, but it's... Intense. Yeah, because, you know the enemy ships just start like they've got you targeted already they're yeah, firing at they're you. all AI um, so what I like to do is target their weapon systems and missiles go through shields so I'd like to target their shield generator with missiles fair enough that's right. fire away tactic. so we'll hit space bar and uh, as you can see down here the weapons have to charge but there's all kinds of uh, upgrades or augments for your ship that you can get which are like when you enter a sector you're weapons are immediately charged or right, like, yeah, they yeah. charge faster or uh, you can deplete your scrap that you get from destroying ships to increase your hull strength as you pick it up okay, as you get crazy stuff like significantly. that there's tons of stuff in this game um, and you can't if you get into trouble in a battle um, actually here let me just finish this guy off before we uh, die <laughs> um, if you get into trouble you can so, Upgrade your engines enough so that you can just, just much jump away right away. Just, yeah. just run out. Uh, you don't necessarily have to complete whatever mission you're doing in the sector yeah. to leave. So uh, I broke the pirate ship apart and we um, hastened to contact stuff. the civilian ship. So we salvaged a missile, a drone part, and 16 scrap from the ship. Um, oh, cool. So civilian ship is offering me uh, 12 scrap and a hull missile. Cool. So hull missiles, I know what they do. They everything has a little tooltip like this so it does two times damage in systemless rooms so it's meant to cause hull breaches oh nice so yeah. you can shoot at the pilot room and lot watch them no system less room oh, so less. you shoot it like this room it's going to do more damage oh uh, okay as All opposed right. to these ones which don't even care they yeah. just they just do the damage Fuck you um what we'll do is we'll go into the upgrade thing here and uh, we'll upgrade sensors so that way we can see the enemy ship's interiors. Because if all you right. saw in the battle before, they yeah, were all just blacked blank. out. Yeah. yeah. Um, so now we will jump to the next sector here. Uh, where so it's a go? little more slow paced than Binding of Isaac, that one. Yeah, this one? But it, yeah, sure. We have a limited fuel, too. Each jump costs one fuel. So. Oh, okay, so you can only make a certain amount. Yeah, so you'll get random encounters like this, like, do you want to trade two missiles for three drone parts? And I don't want to do that because my ship doesn't have any drones, but we do have a missile launcher, so we just ignore them. Yeah. Um, and here sometimes you'll get distress beacons. All right. Which could be a trap. Yep, they have been traps, definitely, and trying to bend pirates and stuff, so... You follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you, help, our shields are down and don't know how much longer we can last. So we can either try to shield their ship with yours, escort them out of the field, or don't risk our ship, lead them to their fate. 
So there's kind of like moral choicey stuff in this game. All right. What I've noticed is that some of the different encounters where you'll unlock like an alien ship, the NG ship, which is a drone-based ship, you just get for reaching Sector 5. Okay. Um, but all the other ones are based on random encounters, so it's like... If I don't do this, I might not get a good Well, ship. yeah, like the ship that I could potentially be shielding could be one of the unlockable ones. So if you save it and then it's usually two or three quests that you do. Yeah. And then you'll unlock the thing. So despite my best efforts, this villain ship breaks apart from the constant barrage, barrage, barrage. Yeah, that's how you say yeah, it. Barrage. <laughs> so barely able to break out of the asteroid. We just so. watched them die. Yeah, but I salvaged 14 scrap from the ship, so. <laughs> so that happened. Yeah. And now um, I feel slightly terrible. I'm going to upgrade my doors to blast doors. Instead of normal doors. Nice. Um, nice. And we're going to make another away. jump. Uh, there's also stores. Just so traveling merchants. Trade scrap for stuff? or Yep. You can also sell stuff. So see, we can repair our hull. We can buy more fuel, missiles, or drones. We can recruit crew members or improve our systems. We can give us more options. So we can buy drone control. If we we can buy a crew to. teleporter, which will allow us to board the enemy ship. Um, and That's actually destroyed pretty from within. We can also buy cloaking, which is handy because it lets you have time to repair things every once in a while. All right. But you can't like fire weapons or anything during when you it. So, yeah, yeah, obviously. Um, if you're winning, it's not much use, but you can trigger it whenever you want. So, um, so right now we don't really have enough money for anything, but I'm gonna sell the halt missile because I don't really need it. And, All right. Uh, I'm gonna buy. It's very important to buy fuel <laughs> when because. You can. If you run out of fuel, you kind of just have to turn on your distress beacon, but... Anybody can show up. The rebels can show up and just fucking murder you, or, like, someone can show up and offer you to trade, or, like, someone nice can show up and, like, hey, just have two fuel and good luck. Yeah, here yeah. you go. Um, and then I'm going to repair my hull here, and then we're just going to go. Uh, so we can go right to the exit, and you can kind of see here, the rebels are slowly... Advancing. Advancing through the sector. So if you ever jump to a point that they've taken over you have to fight a rebel ship within a certain time limit okay and then leave the sector before like the capital ship gets there and All just right. insta kills you okay so, right. so pretty much you don't um, want to fuck with the capital so you want to stay this line right here represents where they're going to move during your next jump alright so you don't if we were here, we wouldn't want to jump like to here because they would have expanded there by the time we yeah, yeah. got there. So, um, typically, you want to just jump around at the outside of the map and kind of explore and trying to get stuff. Um, so we'll just kill this guy. Also, very important. There's an auto fire down here, which if you end up fighting a lot of small things or if you have a lot of missiles and just want to kill the other ships, immediately turn auto fire on because otherwise you have to manually. Like click inside. when it's charged and kill it that way. So, uh, I'm pause it now. Beachy is looking good right there. And in the <laughs> weapon room. Well, actually, it's all. There's like progression among each of the characters. So you'll see because we fired a certain amount of weapons, I can't really drag over. Oh, yeah, I guess I can. Huh. Um, he's improving his weapon skill because he's been at the weapon station this entire time. And uh, so you are chilling. improving your shield skill. So all the ship systems will function on their own, but having a crew member in them... Makes them faster, more efficient, makes them better. Yeah, so if you're standing in shields here and the shields get taken down, they're going to recharge faster because you're standing at that console. Because I'm freaking out. The weapons are going to recharge their firing like time here faster because Richie's standing at that console. Because I'm at the pilot seat and um, we don't have an autopilot this is the only way that we're going to have any evasion oh, okay. anyway. right. it's actually right. going to miss us um, and then so you standing kinda... in the engine room will make it charge faster All right, so you can um, kind of customize who stands where make them more efficient so on yeah, and so forth I, I feel like I should have played this on normal because I'm real good at it so maybe we could have like had some more damage and stuff uh, oh, we've the got a fleet. whole crew. So, see, here. when you find a rebel ship, well, yeah, that's because I bought that systems upgrade. The ships we've fought so far have just been automated drones. Okay. So now we actually have a crew, and we're going to see them walk around their ship and try and get stuff. So we might actually get in trouble this battle. So, um, 
and there is it's a lot of just waiting and strategizing it's not it's not really a... that fast paced because of the pause feature yeah so that's nice um actually i may just beat them because i know what i'm doing fair enough but that so that that's an enemy drone and we could have something like that going around them if we yeah the we could also have a defensive drone hovering around our ship kind of like blocking its lasers um, we can have any personnel drones, which we can keep on our own ship or board on their ship. All right. Uh, we can have uh, so yeah, you a just systems repair stuff. drone that will automatically drive around the ship and fix things when they get hit. Oh, all right, awesome. Um, yeah, I guess sense. I should have picked normal so that we're. Uh, I'll just try and get further into sectors without upgrading and see if we do well. Uh, oh, okay, this is good. This is a slaver ship, okay. so we can either buy a slave for them for four to three scrap. We can attack the slaver scum or ignore them and continue on our way. If you attack them and get close to beating them, they will bargain with you and give you a slave for free. For free, but you don't know if what you if you offer to buy one, you get to pick what you want. Oh. So you can pick the, all the alien races have different benefits. So the mantis are really good at fighting, but they can't repair or oh, okay. yeah, yeah. have any benefit to ship systems. So putting one of them at a console isn't going to help it. Yeah, no, increase. you just want to port them onto the other ship. Yeah, exactly, or keep them at your, like, right, let's buy a slave. To... I want to buy something. You want to buy, buy a slave? We'll buy one. Oh, I guess they only had the one slave, so we got a, another human, so I'll put him in the engine room. His name's Taiyi. Why is he green? Because uh, I currently have him selected. You can also just drag a box, like, in an RTS oh, okay. and select everyone. Oh, okay. That's handy for if, like, three people start shooting up this room, and then you can get all four of the crew members in there and just be like, oh, go attack. So... Get back on your station, Dan. Yeah, the only the only thing that bugs me about this is that there's no, like, assign this person to this station, so if they're standing idle, go back to that station. Uh, that's, like, the only thing that I really like out of this, but whatever Besides it that, it seems we could. Can we attack them now? No. Because we... Are you sure? Like, X that. Can we... Can we legit? Aw. Uh, I don't know. Because we... Yeah. So it is a right-click to power things, or... Uh, it is a right-click to depower things, and a left click to power them up. Okay. So that's how you kind of divvy up systems and stuff here. The ability for your reactor to have more and such. Yeah. Uh, we we'll, won't buy anything right now. Uh, so let's go to the next sector. So see, we're at the very first sector here. Okay. Our goal is to get out here, but we can go anywhere in here. So we can go to the Mantis controlled sector or we can go to the NG controlled Mantis. sector. Mantis is a hostile race, so. Maybe we'll get into some trouble here. <laughs> well, we'll see. I don't know. I'm actually... This is... I'm really enjoying this, mm -hmm. actually. Um, no. Nope. So, see, the fastest route would be to just go up here. No. But all the stuff is down here. So yeah. No, we're going to go... Down. We're going to go the long way. See how that goes. Uh, yeah. So, this dude wants to mess me up. So, I want you to mess him up. Yeah, so there is... I don't think it's a particularly exciting game to watch, really, because it's a lot of just waiting for weapons to fire and stuff. And I just set his weapons room on fire. Dude, so... you're killing his dude. Well, the dude's trying to put out the fire, so he's got a little fire extinguisher there. Um, my missiles like, keep just missing, though. Legit on fire now. Well, yeah, but he ran to the med bay, so... Shoot the med bay. Uh, yeah, I could do that. See, now, rebel ships try and get away and warn the fleet, which yeah. will increase the distance that they expand oh, okay. every time you make a jump. So what we want to do is make the missile target the FTL drive so that they can't get away. Actually, this missile's going to kill them anyways. So. Well, problem solved then. Yeah. We get scrapping. That's pretty much how it is. I kind of want to get hurt. Well, I guess you're just well, too good at this. Well, I jumping into sectors with people, so... Uh, all right, let's attack the Mantis ship. So is that little thing a drone? What little thing? The little thing in the steering house. In here? Or is that what they just look, look, look? That's an NG. No, no. Is that alien? That's a Mantis. Oh, okay. Th this is their... So you can unlock this ship to play with. Oh, okay. So, like, that's that's how the ship unlock stuff works. It's like any ship that you can fight against, you can eventually unlock it. Oh, Mantis okay. ships are weak, but they're meant to have a teleporter and just, like... Just get you right on the other and, ship. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to keep kind of rapidly jumping here to try and See show you can... how the repair stuff works. Ooh. Oh, good, an asteroid field. This is... All right. We should be able to get messed up here because asteroids keep hitting the shields. All right. 
unless they keep missing you. Well, there. See, he hit me with an ion cannon, so my shields are down right now. Oh. Um, and after the shields are down, okay. See there, hull breach. So and the weapons are down, so I kind of want to bring you over and maybe give a hand patching this hull breach up. The oxygen's leaking out. That's why the room is turning red. Okay. Um, I still beat him, so that's okay. But uh, yeah. So once the hull breaches and stuff is patched up and fires are put out, you can move them back around and such, and start actually repairing the station. Um, you can also vent rooms manually and stuff, so if there's, like, a fire in here... Oh, okay. We can uh, vent, vent it, it out. out, and then fire needs oxygen. That's, right, uh, so. that's pretty cool. Um, what we'll do is we have a lot of money. So we'll Let's go buy store. something crazy. Yeah. I'm feeling ludicrous. <laughs> um, we could buy a mantis named Steven Ekman. Yeah. And oddly enough... A a human I, named Matthew. Matthew. Okay. Uh, <laughs> buy both. I want both uh, of them. I actually have enough money for that. So. And then put the other Matthew beside Richie. No, no, no. Uh, no. Well, we'll put him in the O2 room. No, no. Don't. No. I want you to vent it. I don't want to vent my crew members. I want this you is fucking horrible. I want you to put... I want to put him in oxygen, and I'm going to put the mantis in med bay. I guess... You no You're sadistic. You have no sense of style. I don't know how long we've been going for here. I don't know. It's kind of just, <laughs> kind of just going. Kinda just All right. See, thing. now this is this is a dangerous place. So this is good. Um, we're extremely close to a star, and so there will be a lot because we're so close. Random parts of the ship will just catch fire. Really? Yeah. So. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh god. Get me the hell out. But we'll put the mantis in because he's good at fighting. Um. <laughs> I want you to keep me alive. Riccio's in trouble here, so we'll move him out. Get me in there. Get me in there. Uh, Steve Ekman. So there's a lot of, like... Did oh, I fuck. Have? I just lost someone. Yeah. I don't know who I lost. I lost Matthew. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Get him back in there. No, I gotta, I gotta manage these so they don't die. Get me in there. Oh, nope, no, nope, no, nope. wrong, wrong dude. And there's a fire on the ship. Okay, so see, this is, this is a better representation of how this game gets chaotic. See, now there's a fire in the fucking med bay. So we need to put that out. No, 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 go in here. Just put out the fire. There's some random room on fire. Um, so what we'll do is I'll show you, we'll vent the engine room and get the fire out of there. Cause everyone's kind of low on health right now, so. Um. But she was a weapons guy, right? Yeah. So, tiny. actually, we'll jump out of here while we're venting that so we don't get hit by another solar flare. That's actually really cool. Um, I spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have refitted for transport rather than Yeah, demand, demand the surrender of their goods. Prepare to take their cargo by force. They're trying to escape. Okay, so which means we want to target this and the shields. Um, oh, okay, so that's on fire. Uh, we'll get you back in the shield room here. Close this up. So, so when something is orange, it yeah. means it's damaged but not destroyed. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> All right. So if it's red, that means our engines aren't going to charge, and we can't make an FTL jump until they are right, well, uh, fixed. We're getting messed up. If, if we die, I'm going to be um, pissed. Our oxygen room's down now too. All right. Well, you should probably go fix that. Yeah. So we'll get. Uh, Let's quickly go fix that oxygen room. Yeah, so it is slowly draining out of the entire ship here. So if we were just to let it sit for the next... Oh, we would all just suffocate and die. Yes. Oh, great. That's wonderful. I'm, you know, glad we're not doing that. And see, they're slowly losing health because they're in not an oxygen-filled environment. All right. Oh, I don't have any missiles left. That's not good. We should probably go buy some of those. Yeah, so there is a lot of resource management here. There's kind of real-time management, so we'll just bring these guys back to the med bay and have them recharge their health. And we'll send you back to the engine room, and we'll make a jump here. We'll try and get to the exit before the rebels get here. So we don't get fucked so up. So another asteroid field, uh, automated scout. Uh, we'll just try and hit their shields a bunch because we don't have any missiles left. Which you probably do jump. I got away for the FTL drive too. Oh god! Oh, fuck! We are fucked. 
See, now oxygen is down. Okay, good. This is... I'm glad and unhappy that this happened at the same time. We have no legit weapons. And I'm on fire. Yes, I can... Like, legitimately on fire. Okay, we gotta we gotta get shields back up here. This is this is not good. And we're gonna vent. Oh fuck! So I can't vent this room because it's the door control room, but the door control room is on fire. <laughs> Dude, our fucking weapons are on fire. I can now. see this. Okay, you can't see this well enough to actually fix the problem. I gotta give them their health back because they don't. They're gonna burn if I send them in with their, in there with no health. Well, send. Okay, the, the the fire is spreading to the cabin now, so this is not good. Come on. Fire sp spreading to the med bay. That's, um... That's fucking great. Okay. Um... Fucking we might actually fucking die here, because my ship is just burning. This okay, is okay. I need to get in here, put out this fire, and then vent the whole ship. <laughs> you gonna put everybody into the O2 room? Oh, don't walk through the fire, stupid. <laughs> Steven Ekman. You do that. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put these guys in the med bay, and then... Uh, this yeah, okay, I can manually open doors now. Great. Great, great, great. Alright. So oh, I need to vent the cabin, too. We're officially on fire. Stuck in an asteroid Stuck field. Stuck in an asteroid field. The, and our... The cabin's on fire. Steven is nearly dead. And now he can't get to where he needs to and go. And half the ship is without oxygen. Yes. And we're being hit by asteroids. Okay. So now we're going to close up all these doors. There's actually hotkeys down here for close every door and open every door. Okay. Um, so uh, we need to just kind of chill in the med bay here while the oxygen Kill, recharges. You're killing Steven. But yeah, that's a pretty good representation of... How like fucked up this game FTL. Really yeah. quick. Yeah. Um, I managed to salvage that, but it gets chaotic like that, and um, I really think that's kind about of, it. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of fruitless to try and show some of the random encounters in this because... They're random. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, you want to outro us, Devin? Well, uh, I guess that's been our dry run of FTL. Um, Faster than light beta. Yeah. It's uh, been comes out September 14th on Steam and Good Old Games. Um, so pick it up. It looks yeah. like a lot of fun. They their beta is only on Steam right now, and it's only for Kickstarters. Okay. Um, so that's cool. But when it comes out, I'll get a good old games key nice. too. So nice. Um, yeah, and it's only ten dollars. Yeah. So uh, pick it up. Uh, I guess. Uh, Try it out. We'll see if this finally moves you off of Binding of Isaac. I don't know. I man. doubt it will. I don't though. know. I don't know. <laughs> I picked it up again today, but we'll talk more about that later. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, uh, thanks you guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, woo, comment. <laughs> Cheers.